So here we go. We're starting a new series on the channel, and this is going to be put into a playlist with a whole bunch of other stories that I have. So it's time for me to start spilling the beans. I've got a whole lifetime of funny, crazy, weird stories, and it's about time that I start sharing them with you, the viewers here on my channel, to, uh, you know, just to, just to go ahead and talk about some of this crazy stuff that I don't usually get to talk about with, you know, most people. So this in particular story is going to be about a camping trip that I went with one of my friends and there was a family reunion going on and they usually do this like out in the woods because of where I live. I live in a state necessarily, Northern California, where there's a lot of wooded areas and people like to, you know, do loud parties. You do it out in the woods because the cops will never get called out on the woods for you playing like loud music, literally when you're in the middle of nowhere. So usually what my friend's family does is like, they rent like a huge camping area and like everybody goes there. And I got actually invited to their family reunion because I was, you know, it's my friend. And he was like, hey, we're going for like a week or something like that. So there's like the ground basis of the, of the deal. And this is when I was way younger. This had to have been probably, you know, 10, 12 years ago or something like that. Still friends with the dude today, even though we don't hang out as much as because we're a lot older now. He's got his own business. I've got my own business. We're uh, entrepreneurs trying to make a name for ourselves, I guess, in the world here. But this is a really funny story. So it's like, yeah. So I mentioned earlier it was going to be like a week-long camping trip. You know, I ended up bringing my pistol too. Like I had this pistol or something like that. And I was scared that like there was going to be like a bear or wolves or something. Like we do have that type of stuff. So it's like, is it far-fetched to bring a gun like while you're going camping? No, probably not. But to like a family reunion thing, we just made sure that like nobody knew that I brought the gun because I don't think that they would have been cool because they're more of like you know, hippies and stuff like that. And like that don't, you know, whatever. I'm not going to get into necessarily what it was, but it was like kind of like that basis right there. I brought the pistol just in case. Did we ever see a bear? Did I have to use the pistol? Did I ever shoot the pistol? Uh, no, 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 and no. No one ever found out that I even brought the pistol because like he was telling me it would have been like a problem or something to like them having to ask me to leave or something because I was the guest and I brought a pistol. And like we live in a state where like, you know, it's like a bunch of gun happy people anyways. Like, you know, I'm just saying that in general because, like, whatever. Hey, we're out in the woods. You don't know if there's going to be a psycho that runs up and, you know, tries to do some crazy stuff on you because you're in the middle of the woods. I mean, the thought's always there. I mean, hell, what if you run across an alien? You got to shoot one of those fuckers and, like, try to capture it or something like that so you can at least... Well, no, because that'd be bad, too, because then the government would try to come out. But anyways, there was no aliens, there was no bears, and there was no Bigfoots. But, you know, it just seemed like I remember the pistol being, like, a big deal or something like that. It was on the hush-hush. But besides the fact, okay, things are going good. Everybody's been partying for about three days, okay? We're talking good food, good uh, good alcohol, and other things like that. I don't, I don't necessarily drink, but a lot of other people were drinking and doing, I think, drugs and stuff like that. You know, probably smoking pot or something like that. Smoking weed, you know, and things like that, which isn't far-fetched. Because, once again, I live in a state where weed is legal, recreational, and uh, medical. So, you know, the government can just take that and put put that in their pipe and smoke it because the people want what they want, I guess, and that's that's weed. So besides the fact, okay, three days in, and, like, let me hint on the good food part, okay? Nothing but, like, barbecue food, like hot dogs, hamburgers, steaks, like chicken, just good food all around. And, like, you know, I didn't necessarily have to bring too much food to myself because, like, you know, the family reunion people were there too. And I remember, like, uh, my friend, so we're just going to call him Tony, because that's his, his actual name, and I don't really know what else to call him. So, I mean, that's stupid anyways. So my friend Tony, and I remember too, his sister there, his younger sister, and his younger sister just got this back tattoo. I'm talking a whole back tattoo, like wings or something like that, and it was still fresh, and I was like, holy crap. And she was like walking around hammered most of the time because I think her back like hurt so bad from like just getting her whole back like tattooed in like an eight-hour session or something like that, if you guys could ever imagine that. That would be absolutely crazy. So this is like the absolute not point of any points of the story. The point is, is we're about three days, three days deep into this camping trip. And uh, I haven't taken a crap yet. <laughs> okay. I've been holding on to like a monster log for like a minute. Okay. I think like day two, I definitely noticed I had to go to the bathroom. But like we're in the middle of the woods where we're so far out. There's no like outhouses. You have to like make your own outhouse. And I'm not, like, prevalent to where I've never been in a situation where I had to take a crap in the woods or nor have I, 
you know, I, I've had lots of times where I've been out in the camping and like when I was like younger with my dad and my dad was like, here's a roll of toilet paper. You have to go find a tree. You have to find a really good, strong branch. And basically like you, you hold on to the branch and you kind of lean over your feet away and stuff like that. And hope to God your turds don't like, you know, land in your underwear <laughs> or something like that. Like that's almost the situation in a sense sometimes when you're camping and you're like out in the middle of the woods and you're like, I'm not going to dig a hole. I mean, digging a hole and crapping in a hole is probably like, you know, you might as well just take your pants off. You might as well squat over a hole like in the woods or something like that. Like that's probably the better thing that you could end up doing here. I don't know. That's not what I ended up doing when I was a kid. Like I was always taught like, hey, you find a branch, you hold it. What if the branch breaks and then you land in your turds? Or something like that. That'd be horrible. I've never even heard of a story of necessarily. You'll always make sure you lean on the branch before you even get going, right? You test that branch out, right? You're like, this branch is going to be good. Why? Because I've been trying to break it for the last five minutes. And it's definitely going to be my lean-to for taking a crap branch, basically. So we're about three days in. Haven't gone to the bathroom. No bathrooms really around. And my friend's like, dude, it's like the middle of the night or something like that. It's like 11 o'clock and it is pitch black out, okay? There's like not even a moon out that night and it is absolutely pitch black. Like can't see anything. So what am I armed with? I got my pistol in my back pocket. I got a flashlight and I got, and I got a roll of toilet paper, right? And I'm like, I'm venturing off into the blackness where like, the possibility of me running into someone else is probably, you know, more high considering the fact of the, uh, the family reunion itself was nothing small. We're talking like there must have been at least 50 people there. When I say my friend's family reunion, we're talking like the whole family came. Mothers, brothers, uncles, daughters, sisters, aunts, un wait, did I already say uncles? Whatever. Besides the fact, like the whole shebang is there, okay? You know, besides the fact, there's probably like some people walking around with a head full of acid too, as a matter of fact. And I'm out there in the woods. I got my pistol just in case I get attacked by a bear. I don't know what that good would do anyways, besides the fact that literally I had to go out and like, I didn't even venture very far off into the trail or something like that. So like, I didn't venture very far off. I went down like probably, I don't know, dude, I was, I, I didn't even know where I was. Like I walked down the trail, right? Like I found this trail. I walked down it for probably a good like... 10 minutes or something like that because I wanted to make sure that I was away from like anybody while I was doing my business right and then you know uh, nothing really happened I didn't see anybody I got my business done and like I went back to camp and everything was like pretty good right and, and then like it that was it end of the night time to go to sleep you know uh, whatever nothing nothing be, be fault of nothing that night and then like here's the really funny part of the story is um as I remember, like, in the morning time, my friend, like, waking me up, and he's, like, pissed off. He's, like, super pissed off or something like that. He's not pissed off at me. He's just pissed off in general because he said that he was, like, down somewhere, and he stepped in somebody's shit, and it was, like, a big pile of toilet paper, and, like, I put... <laughs> I put a big, a big pile of toilet paper and I didn't know where he was at, dude. He was like, dude, I was down here. He's like, I was going to go fishing. He's like, I'm on the way back. I didn't see it. I stepped in somebody's big shit with a whole bunch of toilet paper. And I was like, trying not to laugh. And I was like, not exactly asking him where, and then he was asking me, he was like interrogating me. He's like, dude, where did you shit last night? And I was like, dude, I went way off in the woods. You even knew that I was gone for like 20 minutes or something like that. I walked 10 minutes. I go, I walked down. I told him like a different way. Cause I didn't want to like, you know, throw myself under the bus and be like, yeah, that was my shit. Cause he was pissed. And then later on, it was really funny, dude. Is he would like, like asking everybody when we were walking around, he's like, Hey, Hey, dude, who took a shit over here? Like he was like actually asking like other family members and everybody was like, I don't, I don't know, dude. Like, and everybody's like, yeah, who would take a shit over there right of the side? But it was like, it was, it was fucking dark as hell out. Okay. Pitch black middle of forest i would be lucky if i even got back like luckily i even like seen the light away you know what i'm saying to even get back so I, I, i'm not gonna lie i was scared shitless okay out in the woods that night and i'm pretty sure my friend stepped in my shit and had it like all over his shoe which he was like scraping <laughs> scraping off with a stick when he got back to the camp area or something like that oh my god yeah now that i remember that that was uh quite the ordeal most definitely and it was just mainly because 
I had to wait so long to like go poop. And then like after that, I was like every day. And then I, ma I made sure that like I was going, I like dug a hole. I took like, I took like a freaking, uh, a sh our shovel. We had like one of those little mini shovels. So like from there, I was like literally going out and just like doing what I said, what you should have do earlier. Like, look, dude, if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you're taking a crap, What's the point of not taking your pants off and you don't want dookie on your underwear You don't want any of that on your pants and you for surely try the hell the best you can not to get any of that on your hands Because if you are you're gonna be down at the river for the next hour scrubbing your hands with probably the next best thing is rocks and mud Until you can get the crap off your hands, right? So anyways, there you guys. That's my uh Camping poop story. We've got a lot more stories continuously gonna be on the way a lot of crazy stories There's gonna be some scary stories. There's gonna be more awesome adventure stories <laughs> like this So if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content Turn on those post notifications so you don't miss out what else comes out of my channel So from there, thank you all for watching. My name is Gravesite, and I'll see you in the next one. So peace